On September the 22nd, 1989, the IRA detonated a 15-pound timed bomb in the Royal Marine School of Music building at the Deal Barracks in Kent. One man who survived the blast but was left with chronic PTSD was Andrew Gronkowski. I was in the, in the next door building, which was known as the new intake block. There was a huge explosion which blew me off my feet onto my back. And there was 11 of my colleagues and friends were killed on that day. Very quickly after that, I was starting to go downhill. Um, uh, fe feelings of, of guilt and shame. In about the April after the bombing had happened, where I took an overdose. An attempt just to get away from it all. Over the decades since that fateful day, Andrew's PTSD prevented him from holding down a steady job, and he and his family were forced to move house 35 times. His condition also manifested into anxiety, aggression, and a fear of crowded places. So in 2017, we sent in the Speakmans to help him overcome his crippling condition. How would you feel getting on a tube right now with myself and Nick? Yeah, not at the moment. I don't want to go in there. You couldn't do that? Not at all at the moment. Now, three years later, we're re-showing Andrew his appearance on this morning, and he remembers how his first thought, as is so often the case, was one of scepticism. Well, I had a lot of doubts, if I'm honest. Obviously, coming from a military background and putting up with this for all these years, I didn't think anything could be done to help me. Yet, after just a few hours of therapy, Andrew joined Nick and Eva on the London Underground. How do you feel about going on the tube? Yeah, let's give it a go. Come on, yeah. And he credits the afternoon he spent with them as the moment that turned his life around. Well, the main thing is just coping uh, better with daily life. But through having the therapy from the Speakmans and the support of my wife and family, life has just improved gradually. It is much better. I don't have so many disasters as I used to have. And Andrew is able to share an insight into the Speakman's distinctive form of therapy. When I had the therapy, there were some parts of it which were fairly quick. Things the way Nick, I can remember him describing me putting a thumb on a sofa and pressing it. He said, what's happening to the sofa? I said, well, it's being depressed. He said, what, depressed? I said, yeah, it's being depressed. He said, well, that's like you. He said, when you take your thumb off the sofa, it's not depressed. What so you are not depressed, you are being depressed by something from outside. And that's one thing that stuck with me quite quickly in a way to cope with if I, if I was having bad days afterwards. I think, hang on, it, it's not me, it's something else that's doing it. Thanks to the Speakmans, Andrew is able to cope better with crowded places and last year was even able to perform at a very special concert. Well, there's been a military concert that's held every year on the green in Woolmer um, as a memorial to the victims of the deal bombing. And for many years, uh, I couldn't go to that. Now, of course, I've been able to go there. And more than that, I've been able to play at it, which has been an absolutely fantastic opportunity that I was given to by Colonel John Ridley, who was the principal director of music at the time. He said, um, I'd like to tell your story, uh, which he did to, to the crowd. And I said, no, I want you to come up. He said, no, I want you to play the particular piece of music, which was an arrangement of uh, the final countdown and Love Changes Everything, which was used after the bombing as like a memorial piece. Uh, and there was no better piece I could get up there and play. <laughs> It just went perfectly, really. And uh, it, for once, everybody else was crying and not me. And after 35 house moves in under 30 years prior to meeting the Speakmans, Andrew and his wife Denise have now been able to find a steady home. Now, um, we've been helped by the local authority that we're actually living in the village where my wife was brought up, which is another uh, quite incredible thing and life is just better. And Andrew has one more message for the Speakmans. Well, I'd like to say a big thank you to Nick and Eva. The future is much, uh, much brighter for me. Um, I'm always hoping that things are going to continue to improve. You have helped me an awful lot with the way I can cope with my life now. <laughs>